on in everyone hello hello just finding all on my ipad so i can see comments just making sure my notifications are off as well they are excellent i'm going to wait for a few people to join this morning excellent okay so welcome to Saturday morning um, this morning I'm gonna run through my mini class which is using the ice cream corner suite of products um, I know quite a few of you've got kits um, if you haven't got a kit don't worry at all um, still feel free to watch along um, just to give you a bit of background each month I organize a mini class and a bigger masterclass. Um, this is a mini class, which basically means you've got a selection of a certain suite of products from um, the current mini catalogue. Um, and I'm just giving you a few ideas how to put some cards together. Um, and it gives you a really good idea of how the class kind of works, um, how the suite works when you're putting it all together. Um, so a few people have got kits, um, a few people haven't, but they're still gonna join anyway. So we will make a start um, and I hope you like. Um, if you're crafting along, um, feel free to leave me some comments if you can. Um, if you're not crafting along, I'd still love to see, um, to have a chat with you all this morning. Um, if you're watching back on YouTube, if you've got any questions about anything, please get in touch um, and just enjoy. Let's have a little bit of crafty time together before the Easter celebrations start. So I'll just flip my camera around and we will make a start, okay. So first of all, I'll talk you through the suite itself and I'm just gonna find it in my mini catalog. If I can remember what page it's on and I can't, let's have a look in the back. Let's see, sweet ice cream, where are you? It's one of those things you just can't see it when you're looking, can you? That's because it's on this page, isn't it? Oh dear. Page 49. Okay, so on page 49 of your mini catalogue, you will find the sweet. And that's why that the pages are stuck together. So here we have Ice Cream Mini Corner. Um, it's a beautiful suite of products. You've got some gorgeous designer series paper. You've got a stamp set and matching punch. I haven't used the punch. The reason I haven't used the punch is because my mini class is very much based on the designer series paper because you can just pick that up at home and just get on and craft. Um, we've got some lovely ribbon and then we've got these gorgeous sprinkles here. Um, and the colours for this are just stunning. I love how the colours go together. These are the little sprinkles you get i did have the numbers actually you get a 1500 dots how cool is that and look at those colors and they're a really fab texture they're a little bit you know rubbery they're just a bit strange but they're gorgeous um so i have created four cards using this suite of products and they look like this we have this one we have this one we have this one and we have this one so I'm going to show you this morning how to make those cards if you've ordered a kit you will have received an email with all the instructions in as well so check out your inbox if you haven't done so already I did send a little reminder email in the week um, in your kit you've also got half a sheet of the designer series paper in each of the patterns you've got some pre-cut card bases and then you've got some coordinating card stock as well as some of the beautiful blackberry bliss ribbon and some of those little sprinkles and you've got some die cut pieces so the kit is really quite full of lots of bits and pieces um, and we will make a start this morning um, so let's go with this card to make a start I can't remember which card was card number one I didn't write it down I'm sorry guys um, so we're gonna go with this card first um, and in it I've got my little instructions I've pre-cut some of my ice creams beforehand. The reason I've done that is just for speed, really. But for this card, I've cut a selection of the ice creams from this designer series paper here. OK. 
okay um, and on the back is that lovely I call it like a waffle pattern it's quite nice isn't it um, so let's make a start so for this you're going to need a basic white card base and this has been cut from the thick basic white card so it's got a really nice thickness okay. um, and then we're gonna do some cutting this morning so I'm gonna use the green spot which is on the back of this one love the papers the papers really really speak to me I love how bright they are I love how much you can cut them out um, yeah big big fan of these designer series paper okay so this green layer needs to measure nine centimeters by 13.4 the most economical way to cut that is with the long edge along the top of your trimmer and cut that at nine centimeters and this way you really do get the most out of your DSP turn it round and cut 13.4 so you're just cutting a little bit off that and I'm going to keep that strip because who knows what that strip could be come, could come in handy for and that is our piece for the front okay. then we're going to cut a piece of basic white that is just a little bit smaller we're going to cut one that is eight centimeters by 11.9 So this is probably the quickest of the cards. So I'm starting with this one. Okay, so that's got a really nice border around the edge. Like so, and we can stick those straight to the card front. A few of the comments I had last time was that, wow, you went really quickly. So I'm gonna try and just slow it down a bit today so we can enjoy it and it not feel so rushed. Okay, and I've just stuck that down with wet glue and I'm going to stick this piece down with wet glue in the same way. Like so. Okay. So there we have our little layers on the front. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stick down my ice creams. And I'm going to put these on with dimensionals because it's nice to have a little bit of depth on your cards. Or I like to have a little bit of depth on my cards. And I'm going to start with this little green one. You can use whichever ice creams you want to. I'm going to stick that one there like so. And it's just about layering them around. I tend to find the best place to put your dimensional is in the middle. So that way you get, you can kind of push them in against each other. This one here, you'll notice, has no bottom. The reason it has no bottom is because on the DSP, some of them are, obviously you've got pieces that are on the edge of your DSP. So all I've used is I've used that one that was down there, um, just to get the most, like I said, out of that paper. And then we're going to finish with this lovely one here, like so. Okay. I do love these ice creams. They do really make me want to go to the seaside and have an ice cream. So there we have our top one, like so. So those are our lovely ice creams. And you can see you've got a really nice depth in the card, like so. Now onto the banner. Um, you're going to need just a little bit of scrap. Um, and I've got two pieces. I haven't got this one to get on my desk. I'll grab my stamp set. So this is the stamp set that goes with the suite. So I've used the sentiments. They all come from this one. If you haven't got the, sent the stamp set, please don't worry. Just use a sentiment that you will have at home somewhere. And all of my stamping has been done with rich Razzleberry ink. bring in some basic white and I've just got quite literally a scrap of basic white I'm going to stamp my 
my sentiment. So I'm using this as a little thank you card. And then I'm going to snip that into just a little banner. Okay. Like so. I'm just angling that little banner in to create the little strip. And then I'm going to need a strip, just a scrap of rich raspberry which you have in your kit this is what I've cut from your, your um, dies from so I'm going to cut that so it's about probably one one and a half centimeters and I felt the banner looked just a little bit lost there on its own so what I'm going to do is stick these two together my cup of tea is just arriving thank you very much for my cup of tea You're Thank you. Bye. Oh, he's a good chap, isn't he? I was busy crafting away in here this morning. I looked at the time and thought, oh my gosh, I haven't had time to make myself a cup of tea. It's a husband to the rescue. Okay. So I'm just creating a little banner like so with the two colours. And then now I can stick that on. Add a little dimensional to that. I'm going to put the banner about there. Okay, so that's our card front kind of coming along. Now I just need my piece of ribbon. So I'm going to tie a little bow and I'm going to tie it whilst it's still on the, um, the piece that you've got there. I can't remember if you've got one metre or half. I think you've probably got a metre. This looks like it's just a piece of scrap that I had left over. Okay, so trim that into a little, a little bow. It's up to you how big you make that bow. I don't know why I do this to myself, tying bows live on camera. Sometimes I can really do them and other times I think, oh, what are you doing? Okay, I'm going to stick that on. That's better. And I'm going to pop that on with a little glue dot. Because we love a little glue dot. So I'm just popping the glue dot on the back of the bow. And then just attaching that to my card. Now it's stuck on, I'm going to trim my little tail off that's better okay so there we have the front of our card for the inside of our card we just need to cut two of those layers again bring this back in I've got my DSP which measures nine centimeters by 13.4 so I've got that long edge at the top again trimming it down and then turning 13.4 centimetres. So inside, and then the piece of white is 8 by 11.9. So I've got my 8 centimetres, turn it round and cut at 11.9. Okay, and then stick those in. like so okay so feel free to add another little ice cream if you wanted to cut one out and um, you could just pop that wherever you fancied add another sentiment or whatever reason you've chosen for your card you may not have chosen thank you you may have chosen birthday or you may leave it blank a lot of people do leave their cards blank um, and then when they need a card they'll then add the sentiment to so they make all their cards up and then leave them blank when they're ready and I am going to cut another little ice cream 
for that. So here's some of my ice creams that I've got left. quickly trim that round just to give you a finish my card off and I'm conscious I don't want to go too fast either for everyone that's crafting along at home okay. so my little ice cream I can put just in there I'm going to put it on that side actually and I always tend to stick things down inside my cards flat. Otherwise, they just end up too thick for posting. OK, so that's our first card finished this morning. OK, I hope you like that. The next card I'm going to do looks like this. Um, so you're going to need the pieces. If you've already cut them with the stripy DSP. I'm going to use, I've got another basic white card base cut and this is with the thick basic white. Okay, so I'm going to show you a really fun technique now with this DSP. Um, I really love this technique. You've probably seen me demonstrate it quite a few times. Um, it's popping up in quite a few of my card classes at the moment because I really do love it. So I'm going to use the lovely stripy DSP. And I'm going to use the one that is the sprinkles, like so. OK, so we're going to start by cutting our stripy piece. And the stripy piece needs to measure 10 by 14.4. So we're going to get the most out of your designer series paper. We're putting the long edge at the top of our trimmer and cutting it down to 10 centimetres. Okay, you're going to need two pieces of this, one for the outside, one for the inside. And then we're going to turn that round and cut it down to 14.4. Just cutting that little strip off. Fourteen point four, lovely. Okay. And then we need the sprinkles piece. The sprinkles piece needs to measure exactly the same. So we're going to cut that down to 10 centimetres by 14.4 and you just need one piece of this okay. just keep those little strips I'm going to make a card afterwards with those little strips I think so now here comes the technical bit you're going to line the diagonal corners up in the gutter of your trimmer your cutting gutter so it doesn't matter which one you've got and you're going to cut that like so now with that staying in your trimmer I'm just going to add a little bit of washi tape like so and then I'm going to turn it round and line up the opposite diagonal corners so I've got the next one in my trimmer and I'm going to cut you should then end up once you remove your washi tape with four pieces so I'll just put this on my grid paper so you can really see what I mean so you've then got four triangles like so. Now what I would normally do with this is I would flip two pieces over and you would get that different pattern. But with the designer series paper I chose, it didn't really work. So hence why I'm going to use those two pieces. I'm going to save that for another card. And you've got plenty of cardstock in your kit to do this. Um, so I'm going to add my piece of stripy paper lovely ice creams that I'm using the stripy was just too good though I couldn't not use the stripy okay so that's stuck down nice and flat and then now what you're going to do is you're going to place these two pieces on so that they butt up against the edge of that stripy and then do the same with that one like so okay and I'm going to stick this down this is a great way to use up scraps of your designer series papers. You could do it with coloured card. It really is just a nice technique. A 
and if the patterns work on the other side it's even better because you use less designer series paper like so how cute is that so then now I need two of my die cut pieces I've got a large rich razzleberry scallop circle and I've got a plain white stitched circle and you can go ahead and you can stick those two together I'm going to stick them together flat with some wet glue and then we're going to turn that over and we need our piece of ribbon and it's up to you how much you use here I am going to just add it like so and I find the best way to attach my ribbon is either with some tear and tape, so double sided tape, or um, some washi tape, it's up to you. Like so. And then that gets stuck down on our card. Now I've got that little loop at the end, all I'm going to do is pop my scissors in and cut it off. And then that goes on like so. That's going to be stuck down with some dimensionals. Like so. Okay. Like that card. I love these scallops and these circles. Um, just to let you know, the circles that I've used, the ones with the stitching, the dies that I've used are called the stitched shape dies they are retiring at the end of this catalogue which means they won't be available to purchase after the end of May if you wanted to order those you can order those through my online store now we're going to go back to our basic white card and we need to cut a strip that is three centimeters by 9.5 so just have a little look at what you've got it's not quite three centimeters but you've got plenty of basic white in your kit to do this. You don't need to worry about being too frugal. Okay. So I've got my 3 by 9.5. And then I can stamp my happy birthday sentiment or whatever sentiment you want to choose. Use the rich razzleberry ink to do that. Oops. You want to stamp that in the middle. Like so. And then to create the banner, the fishtail banner. I am going to snip in about halfway each end and then I'm going to cut diagonally from each corner up to that little strip. That way you get a nice even fishtail like so and then the same the other end. Like so. So there you've got your little fishtail banner. And then I'm going to use some basic black card. And the piece of basic black just says scrap. So let's just cut a piece of scrap. I am going to cut that so it's about one and a half centimetres. So it's just a little bit like that. And then we can go ahead and pop that on. And you want to pop it on so you can still see that ribbon, if you can. 
um, you don't have to add that back strip if you don't want to and I'm going to stick that down so that it's flat because you've got that piece of black stuck to the bottom you do get a little bit of dimension but we don't really want too much okay and then you've got your lovely ice creams that we can stick on like so and that I'm going to put on with some dimensionals So that we have our second card. For the inside, you've got your second piece of DSP to use. You may prefer not to use the DSP in your cards um, because you might want to save it for something else. Um, and then you need another piece of, you need a piece of basic white and that is going to measure nine by 13.4. So let's do 9 by 13.4 and then we can stick that in. So you just get a little bit of that pattern showing and then of course if you wanted to you could add another ice cream which I will do as well I don't think I did the inside of this card no I didn't but I knew what I wanted to do just trim around there just pop that little ice cream in there like so oops I'm gonna put it this side actually so there we have our second card all finished let me know what you think um, I like the detail on that one I love the pattern of the designer series paper to me it just screens day at the seaside um, and what's better than the seaside than a ice cream? So the next one I'm going to do, for those of you that are crafting along at home, um, I am going to do the one that is on the terracotta tile designer series paper. So this terracotta tile DSP, um, this terracotta tile cardstock is one of our 2019 to 21 in colours. What that means is um, the in colours are available for two years. Um, so this paper is only around for another few weeks. Um, if you wanted to get your hands on it again, you can purchase that from my online store. The link is at the top of this post. Or if you're watching on YouTube, it's in the bottom. It's in the um, details. So this card, I really love this card. It's actually my favourite of all four. Um, this is a technique that I really like to use. It's called, um, I don't know what the technique is called, but you can use it with the um, press and seal technique but I didn't want to confuse you all too much um, but I really like this so what you're going to need is you're going to need quite a few um, lollipops cut out um, which is actually on the back of your stripes so you'll be fine you should will have a small piece of the stripe left if you've done the card the way I have so just go ahead and cut that whole sheet out all of those lollipops you want to cut out um, include the pieces that are on the edge and at the bottom and at the top because it's a really fun technique and it's a great way to use up all your scraps so I'm actually going to put this together first so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the no, I'm not going to stick them together silly me so I've got my white circle die and all I'm going to do is I'm going to lay on my lollipops but I'm going to stick them down with dimensionals And I'm going to angle them just on and around this circle. Okay. Try not to overlap them too much. Okay. 
and then you want to have some pieces that are hanging over the edge okay and this is where you can use some of the ones that you've not got a lot of okay so it's just about being clever with your layering you may want to use some mini dimensionals or you can cut your dimensionals up so let's just put them down you don't need to worry too much about being too precise with them. Oh, that one. What's the one I had? This one here. Let's have a green one down here, shall we? bit late love these cards thank you Sharon that's really nice of you I enjoyed putting these cards together and it's up to you how many you put on and how busy you make that circle And then we want another one just over here, I think. And this is when you just need to be a little bit clever about what you've got. Let's cut them out. Okay, so once you've done that, what you're going to do is trim around your circle and cut all those pieces out. Now, what you might find is if you've got some large pieces that you're cutting off, you may be able to use those if you've got any gaps that you want to cover up. You could say, why didn't I just cut a circle out of the DSP? But I just love this technique. I think it's really, really sweet. Okay, so now I've got some pieces. Yes, that's the blue one that I wanted to use, like so. takes a little bit of time to do so there you have your little piece your circle that's got those lovely lollies stuck to it and it's a great I think it's just a really nice way to use designer series paper um, and now I'm going to stick that piece down to our scallop circle so I've done this card a little bit backwards but honestly I really enjoy this technique so that's why I thought I'd do that bit first and you just get a little bit of that scallop showing which is all you really want you don't want too much okay so now let's make our card so I'm going to bring in my terracotta tile card base like so and then I want to cut some designer series papers let's just put that one over there you're using is this lovely fluted or scallop pattern it's on the back of this nice watercolor piece so again to get the most out of your designer series paper we're going to pop that in our trimmer with the long edge at the top and we're going to cut that down so that it measures seven centimeters by 14.4 so just a small piece this is a great way to use up scraps and that is going to go on your card 
so that you've got a little border of the cardstock showing. And then you're going to cut a piece of basic white that is three centimeters by 14.4. Now, if you cut the piece that was three centimeters for the sentiment on the last one, you can use that piece. If not, um, you have plenty of white card in your kit. So then here we're going to basically put that on our card so that they butt up against each other and then you've got that nice border all the way around the outside of that card base showing so we can stick that on and then the piece of basic white is going to go on like so. So you then have that look, that effect. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to stick on our lovely ice lolly piece and I'm going to put that on so it's more to the right hand side of the card and that is going to be stuck down with some wet glue. I do love the way that scallop just pops against that background in those two colours. For our sentiment, I'm going to use the word treat yourself. And I'm going to stick that down. Sorry, stick it down. I'm going to stamp that just onto a piece of basic white scrap that I've got on my desk. And then I'm going to trim that into a little banner. Oops. Like so. And then that is going to be stuck down so that it just hangs off that scallop circle. Okay. Don't worry too much because you're covering up some of those lollies but um, you could always put that somewhere else if you didn't want to cover up your pattern just put a little dimensional on and then i'm going to pop that down about there okay so that's coming together nicely now you'll notice on my sample card i finally used some of those sprinkles so let's stick some on, shall we? I find the easiest way to add these sprinkles is just with a little dot, and I mean little, a little dot of wet glue, okay? And I'm just gonna put these kind of randomly on my card. If you've got a pick tool, this is really, really useful, the putty in the end, um, because it will pick up your dots quite nicely okay, and then you can oops it's rolled away I've got it you can just put that down on your card so they may be small but they are really really sweet so I have a little red one just find some white pieces there's here we go so let's pop that back down like so and then I want another one let's have a little blue one if I can pick one up if I can and my glue is there it's remembering where you've put the glue I find like so so that's just three little sprinkles that I've used on it and you have you've got quite you've got more than enough in your kit as well for that so now we need to do the inside of your card and I've added a little bit of detail on the inside of this one. And I'm going to use, we need to cut a piece of white. And that needs to measure 10 by 14.4.
Now what I've done on this one is I've actually fussy cut, stamped the happy birthday and then fussy cut it out. Now I'm sure you guys don't want to see me fussy cut that. I promise you I did do it. Um, so for the purpose of this video, I am going to stamp that inside my card. Okay, just for speed. Um, it's entirely up to you what you do. It's your card. It's your style. But yeah, I'm going to stamp this. I'm just going to stamp that at the bottom. Like so. And then I have some ice creams that I've got left over from my piece to just layer around. So I've got one here. I've got one up there. Thank you, Sue. That's really kind. Sue's just put really like these cards. Like so. And then I've got one at the bottom that I've got left over. many others I'm just being a little bit economical with what I've got like so and then I've added just a couple of little sprinkles Have a little blue one and let's have a little orange one oops and there we have it okay so that is our finished terracotta tile card i do hope you liked that one like i said that was my favorite one to create um, for you i loved cutting out the lollies loved layering them onto that circle and there's just quite a lot going on there. And actually, when you think that that one has been fussy cut out and that one has been stamped on there, I don't really think there's much difference at all. They both look really, really nice. OK, so that is card number three. We've got one card left. Wow, where has the time gone this morning? So the last card we've got to make is this one here. I'm just going to have a little tidy round because I feel like I'm losing things on my desk. got a card base there so we need to do a little bit of scoring on this card base because this card opens like so um, it's quite a nice little effect um, it's just something a little bit different okay I really like it I think it's really sweet um, and we've got that gorgeous ribbon tied around the edge so if you've got your card base you've got your standard card base this here is your ten and a half centimeter score line okay so with that in your trimmer pop it back in line it up at eight and a half centimeters is eight and a half centimeters isn't it my measurement yeah line it up at eight and a half centimeters and score okay so you then end up with it looking like so i'm trying to catch the light there you have it so then this becomes your score to fold in. And then this is your piece that you're going to stick down. But before you stick it down, we're going to put our ribbon on. Okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my ribbon in like so. And I want to stick that down with some tear and tape. Because we don't want this ribbon moving. Okay, so 
I'm just overlapping the tear and tape. And that ribbon sits kind of in the middle of that panel, like so. Okay, so I've just added my tear and tape. This is still attached for a reason because I don't know exactly how much I'm going to need. Okay, and then you're going to fold that card over and stick that panel down. Okay, so then your card opens like that. And then you can bring your ribbon round and you can tie that in a bow. So now I'm going to cut that off. And I'm going to tie my bow so that it's at the top of that card. This is where you just need to play around with that bow until you're oops, dear. That's it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a glue dot. So I'm going to take a little glue dot like so and then I'm going to put a glue dot underneath that bow to just keep it where I want it to be and then I can trim down my little tails of that bow like so. So that is our cute little bow on our card with our different style of opening. And now we can cut some designer series paper. So the designer series paper you need to cut for this is going to measure 8 by 14.4. And we've got this lovely black bliss stripe. So I'm putting it in my trimmer with a long edge at the top. Cutting that down to 8. Ooh, not score. And then turning it and lining it up at 14.4. And because there's qu quite a nice amount of detail with the purple ribbon, I'm keeping the rest of the design really quite simple. Okay. That's it, sticking down my designer series paper. And then in your little kit, you will have a square stitched die, which is going to go on like so with the ice cream next to it. But I'm going to stamp my sentiment first. And this is You Melt My Heart. So it's one of the last sentiments in the set. And that's going on with Rich Razzleberry. This die also comes from the stitched shape set which is retiring and then this we can stick down with some dimensionals my tummy is really rumbling this morning i've had breakfast it must need more okay and then we can stick on our little ice cream and that's going to go down flat So, and then I'm going to add some sprinkles. So on here, onto the actual ice cream, you can just about see them. You've got some sprinkles. You can, excuse me, you can add those in any colour. Um, I might add purple ones on this on top of this. And I'm just putting kind of three down. Now to find the purple ones, isn't it? Oh, 
love the design with the fold. Thank you, Sophie. Glad you like it. Marion's put, I need a hot cross bun. If only I had some, we ate them all yesterday. Um, I knew it would happen. Um, but I am going to do some baking later on today to make sausage rolls. And I'm going to make some chocolate chip muffins, I think. We're seeing family tomorrow, my family tomorrow in the garden for a little Easter egg hunt. I'm so excited. And then on Monday, we're seeing Darren's family. With our coats, because it's going to be cold. Okay. I've earned myself an Easter egg. Thanks, Joanna. I'm going to tell my husband that. Okay, so let's just put these little sprinkles on. So I've used purple ones on the ice cream and I'm using blue ones on my card so on my original card design I used them the other way around I used blue on the ice cream and purple on the card but you, they kind of got lost so I swapped them around but use whatever you have and then to finish this card off we're just going to cut a little bit more of that DSP this needs to measure the same size so we're doing eight by 14.4 and then the last piece is a piece of white and it needs to measure seven by 13.4 lots of comments coming in guys i'm taking you for a walk with harry oh sharon that's brilliant has harry recovered from his um destruction phase that he did yesterday um people saying lovely cards great cards can't watch wait to watch this back and make mine oh brilliant thanks joanna enjoy making them you've got quite a bit left over actually so you'll probably be able to make more than i've made okay and then this piece is just going to go in there like so um colette is catching up um thank goodness for replay yes happy easter happy easter to you my darling and there we have it that's our finished card so that's four cards we've made this morning how amazing are we um so i'll just give you a little recap to see them all for those of you that have copped on a bit later so these are the four card designs that we've put together um this is part of my mini class the ice cream mini class um which i've really loved making these papers are just so easy to create with um really enjoyed all of that i've got lots of dsp left over so this is what i've got left over um lots and then because i've cut my ice creams out of a different sheet um i've got a whole sheet of this left but you'll have um less of that because you've cut out those lovely ice creams you've got some more cardstock in your kit so feel free to carry on creating and please send me your um, finished cards I love seeing them um, and thank you so much for spending a bit of time with me on this Saturday morning um, my next mini class well actually my next class is using the handsomely suited products um, from the mini catalogue I've got two spaces left um, because I needed to order some bits for that early and these are this is the products from the annual from the mini catalog um, so we're using these gorgeous well suited designer series papers and then the handsomely suited stamp set and the dies um, so do let me know if you're interested in taking part in that i'm looking forward to creating those cards i'm creating them today um, and that's it from me guys thank you so much for taking part for spending a bit of your saturday with me and i look forward to speaking to you all very very soon enjoy it your easter um, i hope it's full of chocolate and fun and wrap up warm because I think it might be a cold one. Thanks everyone, take care, bye for now.